Is this man the greatest threat to President Saleh's near 33-year rule? Sadiq al Ahmar is leader of the Hashid Tribal Federation, commanding loyalty of hundreds of thousands of people under the umbrella of nine tribes, including the president's own, the Sanhan. The family controls big businesses, owning a phone company, a bank, a TV network, and franchises for food chains, including KFC. They have investments in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The Saudis have traditionally paid the Hashid for protecting the Yemeni-Saudi border. It's believed the amount was once as high as $5 million a month. The tribe have long supported Yemen's president. They fought alongside his troops in the 1994 war to crush separatists in the south. In more recent years, the US considered Saleh's tribal ties as an important weapon against al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. But al Ahma has publicly accused Saleh of not doing enough and taking advantage of the joint US-Yemeni anti-terror campaign to feed his personal financial interests. When pro-democracy demonstrations began in January, al Ahma tried to mediate between the government and the protesters. But after security services killed dozens of people attending the rallies on March the 18th, he switched sides. He says Saleh is trying to start a civil war after troops attacked his home last week. We wanted a peaceful revolution, but Ali Abdullah Saleh and his sons and loyalists wanted a war. We will not allow him to turn it into a civil war. He attacked our house, but we are steadfast. Now there are mediation efforts between us to stop the war. Just how effective the call for mediation efforts will be remains to be seen. With reports of tribal fighters taking over military bases outside Yemen's capital and the prospect of more defections from the army, the role of the Hashid Tribal Federation in Yemen's future has never been in sharper focus than now. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.